All right guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and today we're gonna go over a new piece of gear I have. I took it recently out on my uh, last trip. You guys can check that out. It was a solo overnight hammock trip, and we're gonna talk about my hammock. And the hammock that I bought is a Warbonnet Outdoors Blackbird XLC. Uh, I looked around a lot at different hammocks, deciding on which one I wanted to choose. I looked at the Hennessy hammocks, I looked at uh, Dream hammocks, uh, I looked at quite a few different ones. And I really decided on the war bonnet for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I like the fact that it's made here in the United States, made in Colorado. Um, I also like the XLC model itself. The Blackbirds, they have a shelf on the back. Some people say they really don't use them. I found it to be extremely helpful. Uh, I'm really glad I went with that option uh, or with this particular model because of that option. And uh, I also went with it because it has a, a convertible top. XLC stands for uh, XL, which is extra large. So I'm a little bit uh, longer, so it's a little longer. But the C is for convertible. You can actually unzip the uh, mosquito netting top that you guys will see in a little while and put on a winter top. Uh, I actually have that top on order. It's coming in soon, so that might not be in this video, but I'm sure you'll see it in a future video. So today we're going to look at my War Bonnet Blackbird XLC. We're also going to take a quick peek at how I hang it up, the Dutchware gear that I put on it, uh, and I hope you guys like it. So this is what it looks like in the double-sided stuff sack. So I'm going to move the camera around, take you guys through it. I'm going to, it's a rainy day, so I'm going to set it up here in my shop. It's not going to be the best video, but we're going to do our best and show you guys what we got. So let's check out the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the Blackbird XLC from Warbonnet Outdoors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys this is a single layer version you can get a two layer version which uh, allows you to put uh, a pad or sleeping pad between the two layers underneath and it makes it a lot easier that way you're not always trying to center that mat uh, now I have um, an under quilt and a top quilt from hammock gear uh, both of them are a 40 degree uh, variety and we'll go over those in another video so I went ahead and got the single layer because I plan on using the under quilt uh, whenever I go and first thing we're going to do is weigh it now this will weigh probably more than the hammock or excuse me that than the warbond and outdoors side states and it's because of some of the stuff inside so I'll show you guys real quick so we're going to weigh this and it weighs right at basically 30 ounces 30 and a half ounces I call it 30 ounces for this uh, system so a couple of things about it, it does have this really nice double-sided stuff sack that really allows you to hang it up very easily. You open up one side, you attach it to the tree. Uh, I use Dutch clips, I'll show you guys those. Uh, you're able to keep that up in the air, then you simply pull over to the other tree as you unfurl it from the stuff sack so the hammock actually never touches the ground. Uh, this is nice, it also never touches the ground whenever you put it back in if you do it correctly. So no matter how wet it is, you end up keeping things nice and dry. Now, one side, of course, is the head side. And I simply took, you guys can see, real simple, I took some um, fingernail polish, actually, that I use. It's some bright orange. I use it to improve the sights on my guns. If they're not colored, I'll usually use that fingernail polish and make it bright orange so I can see it. And I put that on the head side. So I know that on this side is the head side. Now, when I unfurl this, um, this is the tree straps right here. I also have, just in case I forget, a small piece of zingit. So this also marks the, um, the head side. And you can see here's my Dutch clip. This Dutch clip weighs absolutely nothing. It's made out of titanium. You wrap it around the tree. Um, actually, let me do it this way. You wrap it around the tree. And then this will go in through here. You just make sure it's clipped underneath there. And so basically it, it attaches like that. This loop is around the tree. Of course, it's very small here. Um, that goes around the tree. And then my suspension system itself is these buckles. These buckles slide very easily. You can um, pull this through very easily. And to, un, um, to take out tension, you just move these backwards like this and you pull them back that way. And it's very easy when it's, when, the, when it's actually up. You can see this is one side of the actual hammock. So, put them up on the tree with the Dutch clips and furl around to the other side. 
I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I'm going to kind of jimmy rig it here somehow in my shed and show you guys kind of what it looks like hanging up and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so this is going to be uh, not the best view again. It's uh, storming. We had like massive flash, flash floods this week here in central Louisiana. Quite a few of the businesses were flooded. Quite a few of the houses were flooded. So it's a pretty bad deal. So it's still raining quite a bit, and I just felt like making a video. So not the best surroundings, not a picturesque mountainside for my uh, hammock, but it actually gives us a chance to really look at the hammock itself pretty up close. So I'm going to flip this around and show you guys what we got. All right, so here is kind of a long side view of the hammock. Um, I basically just hung it to the garage door there with a carabiner. This is the Dutch clip. You guys can get a better view of this. These clips weigh in in the grams and um, much lighter than even a standard car aluminum carabiner. This, of course, is just wrapped around this uh, pole for the storage unit. But this is the same general concept. You would have this around the tree. Now Dutch is very specific. This needs to be on the side of the tree. Get that to focus. On the side of the tree. He gives you a little card. Uh, so he wants the side of the tree. And I found that one side I put on this side of the tree and on the other, other side I'll put on this side of the tree so that the hammock kind of hangs catty corner uh, to both trees. So this comes across. You'll see my selected um, suspension on Warbonnet. You can choose from either of these buckles or whoopee slings. I chose these buckles. They're very easy to uh, deal with. You just hang this up. Let me roll this around. I have very, pretty long tree straps here. If you want to pull it tight, you literally just, see if I can do this without causing an issue. Basically, you pull this tight and it very easily pulls if you want to pull it closer to the tree on this side. And then if you want to loosen it, you basically just fold these back and I can do this myself, you just pull pull these back and then you just let them slip. So I'll show you guys here to, to pull it tight you just literally just pull here and it very easily. So you can very quickly and easily uh, adjust the tension. Alright here we can see uh, this is what I was trying to explain to you guys earlier here is the double sided stuff sack so whenever I basically pull all this out pull to the buckle strap and I'll tighten this extremely tight so that way I can just hang this side and the whole stuff sack will stay closed. And then I just open this side and I unfurl all the way out, keeping it off the ground and basically go up there and uh, retighten the buckle to the tension that I want. Um, here is one tie out. They have two tie outs on this particular model. This one just opens up and it gives you a little bit more um, kind of air and space inside of your hammock. Um, it really is a nice feature. I like it. The other side, as you can see, this is not perfect or optimal because we're inside, but this would be pulled out straight. And this is actually the shelf. If I reach my hand in here, you guys can see this is the shelf. And it's a fairly large shelf, and it really allows you to store quite a bit of stuff. When you hang this up, uh, this is a little bit exaggerated, but they recommend that the, and most recommend, but they recommend that the foot end, or excuse me, that the head end is just a little bit lower than the foot end, and that just allows you to sit straight, or lay straighter. Uh, back here, I'll show you guys, um, let me see what the best way to show you is. Basically, back here is the foot box. Your feet will sit across this way, and your head will be across this way. So, again... Not the best view of the situation, but just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a view of the Warbonnet XLC. It's really well made. Um, I can't tell you guys enough the quality. You can see here, a nice patch uh, sewn with pride in Colorado here in the United States by Warbonnet Outdoors. That is a big deal to me. I think it's a big deal to a lot of people. The craftsmanship is tremendous. Um, Everything is sewn just so well. This particular um, nylon, it's, a, it's really strong. You can just feel it's high quality. I like the color. You can also buy it in uh, a camouflage pattern. I didn't go with that. I just like the green. I think it looks really nice. Uh, it's a little extra for the camouflage. I don't see where there's a really big difference. I'd rather spend money on a little extra stuff. Uh, one other thing you can see, and that's what I was explaining to you guys, 
this entire shell, this entire uh, mosquito net, zips off, comes all the way around. You can zip it around the other side, and then you can use it as a travel hammock just without this. So you can basically just use it as a basic hammock. It takes quite a bit of weight off of it. Or you can replace it with the um, winter top, which is basically just a top shell that makes it completely out of this particular green nylon. They say that adds about 15 degrees of warmth uh, to your hammock. And um, I'll tell you, when you, when you first start uh, hammock camping, and this is my first uh, hammock, it is amazing how much air actually really comes in through the top. I mean, it makes perfect sense when you think about it, but it doesn't make a difference. And I could see where being able to cover this and have yourself with a breathable nylon, but without the real breathability of the mosquito netting really could make things warmer. So you can see up here is the ridge line, integrated ridge line. Um, I'm going to, uh, when it's a little bit better weather, here in the next several weeks, I'm going to take this thing out. I'm going to show you guys how to hang it. We'll also put on the Mama Jamba tarp by Warbonnet Outdoors. So speaking of the tarp, let's go ahead and uh, put the camera back over and take a look at the tarp with the Dutch stuff that we got to... Uh, Secure it. All right, guys. So the last thing I want to show you guys today is my Mama Jamba tarp. This is a kind of a compromise between an ultralight tarp and a full-size winter tarp with doors. There is a door kit that you can buy with this particular tarp. I have that door kit on order. I'm going to go ahead and weigh this. Now, this will, again, weigh more than they say it does because I have some accessories on it and I'll show you guys what those are. So this is my hammock tarp weighs one pound, basically two ounces. So 18 ounces, right? Um, pretty good. The first thing you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. First thing you'll notice is that I have this inside of a snake skin. This is a hammock gear, Cuban fiber, sleeve. Now there's a huge controversy. I've read all over the forums. Why use a stuffed sack and a sleeve? And the answer is because I want to. Um, I just like the idea of having it in the stuffed sack. It weighs 0.4 ounces. So for the fact that I can put it in the pack the way I want to, this sack's going with me. Um, now, on each side, I have one of these. This is a Dutch Stinger. Uh, again, these Stingers weigh absolutely nothing. Let's just weigh one, just for fun of it. And we'll say, this Stinger I bought from Dutch with the, um, pretty sure it's 12 feet of zingit already spliced on there. Um, so 12 feet of zingit and... The Stinger weighs 0.3 ounces, so I have two of those, on one on each side. So that adds uh, 0.6 ounces to the uh, tarp. Tarp has a little O-ring here, very simple. You just clip the, the, the Stinger on there. Uh, this goes around the uh, tree, loops back around, and Basically, when it loops back around, it will grab on here. And then once you grab it on there and you pull it tight, you grab it around like this, and it will hold tight. So really simple. I'll basically string this out. Um, go to the other side. This side has a uh, cinch on it. So just go in there, pull the cinch out, and there is my stinger. Now, you can see a little yellow zingit. So let me pull this out a little bit and I'll show you what the yellow zingit is. So here is the yellow zingit end. This is one of the tie-outs. This particular um, tarp has four tie-outs. Um, I use zingit as my guy line. Put a simple loop there. It goes out. I think I cut these to eight feet of zingit. And inside of the zingit here, let me unravel this for you guys. One thing about this zingit that I really like is that it does not really, you know, get very coiled up. 
So here is how I attach my tarp tie outs. This is a Dutch fly. So this side is attached to the tie out. This side will go out to the tree. So basically you'd bring it around. You'd create your ability to tension here. As you can see, tension, tension where you need it. Flip it around, tie it off. It's not going anywhere right there. I can tell you guys in pretty high wind if you want. You can put a little clove hitch there if you want, but this is not going anywhere. This is tied very tight in this particular case to my lighting pole, but nonetheless, when you're done, pull it out, unflip it, pull it out, and you are done. So I have four of these. Now, I think these weigh like four grams each, and I have four stretches of eight feet of zingit for each pullout. So that's what adds the weight over what Warbonnet claims. Um, so we're looking at, if I remember, it was 18 ounces. Um, the addition to what Warbonnet says is I have this hammock gear sleeve. I have uh, two Dutch stingers on each end with 12 feet of zingit. And for each of the tie outs, I have eight feet of zingit with one Dutch fly. That is how I hang up my hammock. I'm showing it to you guys in here. Hopefully in the next week or two when there's not a monsoon outside, I'll take it outside and show you guys how it looks hanging up.